just kicked on. This morning, it was one degree, got up and the cottage was a little bit cooler than previous mornings. And uh, I had turned down, yesterday was actually quite nice in here. So I turned all the heaters down to about half. And uh, so we have this wall one right here. And then I have the radiator one that I usually put there, but that one's in the washroom. And uh, then the other one's in my bedroom. And yeah, so there's one in the bathroom, keeping the washroom nice and warm because uh, you don't want the toilet to be cold. That's not good. Uh, so right now I just finished editing the KFC video uh, and two, uh, one vlog and did the thumbnails, uploaded them to the laptop. So the laptop has the two thumbnails, the two videos ready to go. I just finished flying my drone, which you guys just saw the footage for that. Uh, so I edited everything here and then this air dropped it to this because now I can just unplug it, grab this. I got a sparkling water to go. Um, don't need that. Uh, again, I'm, I'm enjoying videotaping with just my iPhone and I can't wait to get that iPhone either 12 or 13 and uh, get that next level camera kind of thing going. And I'm gonna keep this camera, I'm not trading it in. Uh, I think I could get like $500 back from this camera because it's this is the iPhone 11 Max Pro and it's still a great camera and I'm gonna use it for doing, um, to help me save time when I'm doing like time lapse and stuff. Because a lot of times I would use this camera, set it up to do a time lapse for three minutes, and then you're just waiting, standing there for three minutes. So it'd be nice to be able to use this camera, do a time lapse, have it doing that for three minutes, and then I could have my iPhone 13, and or vice versa. And no, no, my iPhone 13 is going to be like my internet and uh, data and stuff. This is just going to be a camera, and it's going to be like my cutaway camera. I'll just use that for that. I'll probably use the iPhone 13 to shoot all my shots like I'm doing right now. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. And uh, I think we're going to do that uh, early or mid-November. Get uh, the kids and Carol and I, we're all going to hang out uh, for a day and we'll go up to the mall and we'll all get new phones, new plans for the next two years. So uh, Ben wants the small one, which is interesting. He wants the small iPhone 13 or 12. Uh, again, we'll see what everything costs and all that kind of stuff. So looking forward to that. Uh, but like I said, finished editing both things on there. We now have to drive to the end of the lake, kind of in the exact same spot as we were when we did the live show on the big channel. Uh, if you were a part of that or not, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we did a live show at the end of the lake uh, at D-Bank. And that's where I get really good uh, cell service. Uh, Cause right here I'm getting like 0.5 upload. Over there I'll get like 30 upload, 30 to 50 upload. So this, because the cell phone tower is way down there, uh, but because there's this big, huge hill right here, it uh, blocks that signal to this phone. So I get really crappy service at the cottage, but so we're just gonna zip down there and upload this stuff. And then we'll come back here and enjoy a beer with you. Put that in our pocket. We'll be right back cottage. Phone, wallet, keys. It's leaf blowing day. Somebody's leaf blowing over there and that neighbor over here is leaf blowing. Hey Rusty, what's going on buddy? I also, uh, when I did the uh, my drone shots, I took pictures. And uh, I'm going to be sending them to that neighbor, this neighbor. Whoop, and about two over. Let's go to the end of the lake and upload our videos. So you guys have something to watch this weekend. Let's do it.
uh, remember, I was just up here at the falls and we were looking for that geocache in around that area. Uh, and there's the cell phone tower way up there. Uh, I did pull into the, the garden center parking lot, but uh, I just felt it'd probably be nicer for me just to be sitting off to the side of the road here. And unfortunately, the, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, the market's closed. And that's where we got the the cinnamon buns. Uh, but they're, they're closed as of, uh, I guess it was October 16th. Uh, so right now it's gonna take eight minutes to upload this video. It's like screaming fast. Uh, I did a speed test just before uh, I, I launched this video or tried to upload the video. And uh, it was uh, 35 upload, which is again, 35 times faster than the cottage. So that's why it's only gonna take eight minutes. Nice. Then I'll upload the uh, vlog, the thumbnails, and then we'll head back. Uh, right now I'm just gonna drink that drink. Just finished uploading to the big channel, and now I am uploading to the vlog channel, and that's only gonna take three minutes. It's a much smaller file that I'm just doing uh, HD, and uh, it was only like 900 megabytes. The other one was 2.5 gig. It was a 4K file, so. It's only going to take a couple minutes and then we'll uh, zip back home and grab ourselves a beer. Upload complete. Uh, now it's processing, which is on YouTube's end. I don't necessarily need to be here anymore. So what I do is I close it uh, and then I go back into my content. And that's when I upload uh, the thumbnail before we leave. So I'll go down to the thumbnail area, upload thumbnail. It's on my desktop, all ready to go. And that's it, hit save. And make sure it's saved before we shut the computer, okay. So computer off, steering wheel tray off, start your engines and uh, let's head back. So it is uh, 10 to three and uh, that's beer time here in cottage land. Gotta do a two point turn, one. That's a, yeah, that's, now it's two. Two points, better than a three point turn, let me tell you, it's, the time savings alone, it's just insane. All right, well, we'll see you back at the cottage. Carol's on her way up. Carol and Sam are on their way up. My mom and my sister are coming tomorrow, closing the cottage down. back at the cottage looks like I'm gonna have to blow some leaves again once again I'm gonna put my car in a different spot this time all right let's go back inside upload this video start reading comments It's 20 after five right now. When I got back, I decided to blow the leaves before I started drinking beer. So I blew the leaves all off the path, all down here, all up the driveway again, just to get that all clear for when Carol arrives and when my mom and my sister arrive tomorrow. Carol's coming up right now, she's on her way. So I did the, blew off the deck. My uncle Ross came over. We had a barbecue together the other day. And uh, so he sat here while I was barbecuing over there. I forgot to put this chair back. There we go. That's better. That's more Muskoka-ish. And the, the sun was setting over there, but the sun on those trees was just beautiful. You know what's funny is the sun sets over there now. In the summertime, it sets down over there. The moon will come up right around those two trees. I shot some footage, I think yesterday night. And uh, I'm not sure how well the footage turned out being dark, but it was just this beautiful orange ball coming up above those trees, just a perfect round moon. Yep. 
some of the sights you get to see up here. Phenomenal. Also, yeah, I blew all the leaves off the path. And just around there. Might have a fire tonight. Maybe tomorrow. And I want to burn off the stuff that Ben started. So I got to blow all these leaves off tomorrow or Sunday. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. I guess I should check the weather. But now, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time for a brewski. I also have these. I think I'm going to save this one for tomorrow night. I did have one of these already while I was reading comments. It is that, you know, Mott's Clamato Caesar, the works. And again, if you ever want to try something like this, go on Amazon. I bet you could order one and then get it shipped to your house. Uh, I guess I'll put this one on that level. And I've been drinking this Bush Light 4% alcohol. I got to find, I think I'll switch back to the Michelob one because like 90 calories a beer. Just to cut back on the calories and still enjoy a nice beer. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me this last couple days. Love making these vlogs for you guys. Um, like I said, Carol's coming tomorrow. I'll probably vlog something tomorrow. Uh, and then when we go to um, Bracebridge for a couple days, I'll make sure uh, Carol's in at least one of the vlogs. Um, well, while I'm in Bracebridge, I'm hopefully going to be doing some food reviews for the big channel. And just kind of maybe do a walk with you guys and uh, show you around town. Once again, if you haven't been around long enough, you probably, you got, most of you probably know Bracebridge inside out. I've been there so many times and vlogged so many things events and things in Bracebridge. But anyway, guys, cheers. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the double down. And I'm hoping you're enjoying these vlogs. See ya.